All right, welcome back to the sports show on that damn new dude. We had so much fun doing Tommy the Hitman Hearns against Roberto Duran. We're coming back with some more. Now, this is considered to be one of the best boxing matches of all damn time. I'm talking Marvin Hagler versus Tommy the Hitman Hearns. So let's go ahead and do this. This is Tommy the Hitman Hearns versus Marvin Hagler. Good stuff, man. I can't wait to get this shit going. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Let's go. A look at the tail of the tape. It tells you what you know probably already about the big reach advantage, the height advantage for Thomas Hearns. And uh, that's a key element in this fight. But for Marvin Hagler, he expects to get inside against Hearns. And if he doesn't do that, could have a long night. Can he possibly win if he doesn't get inside? Well, he could if he catches Hearns on the end of one of his uh, punches, perhaps a left hook. I think that's where him switching righty becomes a key factor. From the outside, I think he's much more effective as a righty. The common opponents, an indication there that Hearns, perhaps with more power, but Marcus Geraldo was not the fighter he was against Hearns that he was against Hagler and that knockout of Duran. So you can look on and on the number of punches. These are two fighters who will throw a lot of punches tonight. You see Marvin Hagler throws a lot. He's got a good jab, good combination puncher. The same is true of Thomas Hearns. Look at the number of punches he throws. A lot of left jabs snaking out there. Introducing in the red corner, the challenger. The WBC Super Welterweight Champion, fighting out of Detroit, Michigan, weighing 159 and three quarter pounds. His professional record consists of 40 wins, one defeat, with 34 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Thomas the Hitman. Hey. Uh, yo, Tommy, don't hurt him, Tommy. And in the blue corner. Fighting out of Brockton, Massachusetts. Weighing 159 and one quarter pounds. With a professional record of 60 wins, two defeats, two draws, and 50 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, the undisputed middleweight champion of the world, marvelous Marvin Hector. Pat, Pat, good eight. Let's go. So the two come okay, to mid range with Richard Steele. The instructions in the dress room. I'm just cautioning you now. Obey my command at all times. Shake hands. Good luck to both of you. Let's go. Let's go, Marvin. Very simple instructions. And finally, it's tackler against Hearns. The camera's gonna have to go. Eloquent simplicity by Richard Steele. Let's go. He knows, they know. Staring at each other through the national anthem. The stare down, of course, so customary before these fights. And here we go, round one. Ooh. Hagler, right off the bat, attempting to get inside. He'd love to be able to pin Hearns on the ropes if he can. A more aggressive start by Hagler. Look at him, right for the body. Marvin Hagler only wants the body, and he bangs Marvin. Oh, Hearns may have hurt him with a right hand. Hearns hurt him the right. Hearns hits him with an uppercut. Oh, Hagler, man. he's Hearns, Hearns. Hagler is stunned. Hearns got inside. Hit him with a right uppercut. Marvin ties him up. Marvin Hagler is still hurt. So it was Hagler coming out like a bullet. A good oh. left by Hagler, but Hearns didn't flinch. Marvin going for the body. Wild first round. Wow, what a shot. And it was Hagler who initiated it, not Thomas Hearns. And a left by Hagler. Hagler. Hearns comes back. Come on, Another Tommy. Right. That one stunned Hearns. Get off me. What a first minute of the fight. Tommy Hearns has been able to drop that right hand in, and it has hurt Hagler, a surprise to many people. Tell Another you, right hand from Hearns. Hearns moving. Hagler still pursuing, comes in with a right. Missed him with a left hook. Here's where I believe Hagler should turn to righty. He could block that right hand easier and he would land his own left hook. Ooh. Hearns with a devastating punch. Swelling near Hagler's left eye. Again, Tommy trying to come inside the hands of oh, Hagler. Low blow by Hearns. Hagler's still looking for the body. A right by Hagler. Good right got in. He has Hearns where he'd love to keep him on the ropes, but Tommy comes oh. off easily. Another good right by Hearns. Hagler is now shaking those right hands off, though, Al. He was stung a little early, and he's normally a slow starter. He's also bleeding. Hagler is cut. 
Hagler is cut. Bridges the nose. Hagler hitting him low. He is banging the body well. He is taking shots to the head. He blocks that right. Hearns tries to come in with the uppercut. And Hagler ties him up with a minute to go in a wild first round. Oh. I thought it started from the bridge of the nose originally, but blood all over the face of Hagler here in round one. But Damn, Hagler Tommy, get off the corner. Hagler working on him. Hagler relentless, but Hearns trying to box his way out. Get off the hey, corner, Tommy. To round one. How far can this one go? That's very far at his pace. This is where Hagler wants him, but Hearns counter punching off those ropes fairly effectively. Tremendous first round. Hagler. Pinning him to the rope, working Damn. on him, but Hearns oh. undercutting again. Hagler bloody. Oh, no. A tremendous oh, no, first round as Hearns gets hurt. Hearns got stunned. Hagler was stunned early in the round. Great first round. Wow. Incredible. Perhaps one of the best in middleweight history. Man, he had Tommy pinned in the corner. Gotta get out of there, Tommy. Shit. Sorry to pause it, guys. I gotta calm the hell down. I feel like I'm in this damn fight with Tommy. I'm here for you, Tommy. Damn. Hagler's got that style where he kind of stalks. Tyson had that style where he stalks. Now, he didn't really have the peekaboo, the in and out, but, you know, he's stalking you around the ring. All Hearns has to do is just step back and jab him away. Jab him away. Come on, Tommy. But most of this round is a righty. Now he switches southpaw and lands. Not as effective as a righty as I thought, but now it's a southpaw. The jab Take lands him, well. That right jab. Punching it out. Punch coming it in out. with a left. Richard right, Steele saying, punch that your way out, punch your way out. A key element now is Hagler is working when he's on the inside. He's not just holding, he is working the body of Tommy Hearns. Go on, Tommy. Boy, Hearns. Hearns looks awkward, and his legs look like they're not there. A little rubbery here in round two. Tommy, though, fluid and moving. 
There you go. Trying to get inside again. The cut opens up over Hagler's forest. Get out of there, Tommy. Get out of there. Tommy begins to trickle down. Hagler working oh, inside now up top. Half a minute to go in round two. Oh, what a left. Burns trading with him. Hagler comes back oh. to the right or left and another right. Get your hands up, Tommy. In trouble on the ropes. Tommy trying to punch his way off the ropes. Hagler wants to keep him there. Goes to the Bust body. Hagler throws low blows. Marvin Hagler wants to turn this into an alley war, and he's done it. Another low blow. Richard Steele may take points away soon. But Get your hands up, Tommy. Second round coming to an end. Hagler bloody, but very much unbound. End of round two. I feel like damn Sylvester Stallone in Rocky V when he's in the basement. And he's watching Tommy the Gun. <laughs> he's watching Tommy Gun Morrison fight. Hey, Tommy, get your hands up. Damn. Tell him, Emmanuel. Let's think now. This boxer, when you get through with your shot, move off to one side or the other. You're getting hit on tail end punches. You understand? You can hear Manny Stewart talking to Hearn. He's cut anyway. Working on the cut of Hagler. And the Petronelli's good cut men. Goody and Pat have done an excellent job on the cuts of Hagler. What a shock that that man initiated this war right from the beginning. And you know what? I thought he would do well as a righty. He has done better as a southpaw, and he may stay at that. Again, Stewart telling Hearns to box. As you say, though, Hagler turning it into a street fight. Well, he turns righty. He wants it to be a street fight. Listen, Marvin Hagler has been rough inside. He's thrown some low blows. He has thrown some elbows. Don't pause, don't pause. But you know what? Now the right is getting there, but it's not hurting Damn. Hagler. We've got our answer, I think, to some extent. <laughs> Tommy has been, has been hard-pressed to hurt him with that right. Stunned him early, but not in the last round or two. Very early. Ooh. Adam Stunned Shit. has him cut. Come on, Tommy. Hagler doing the damage in round two. And now, just as we thought might happen, Tommy there you go. was hurt early, so he is boxing. There you go. Now, he has good boxing skills. He did this against Sugar Ray. Can Hagler get to him in this posture? Pop him, pop him. Some people thought, as he go again home, becomes home. off balance, some thought that if... If oh, Hearns stays outside, get out of there, Tommy. Of the will become a dull fight with Marvin chasing him. But Marvin has been able Stop to corner him, and when Marvin gets him in the corner, he is roughhousing him well. Again, oh, Hagler oh. is all pop bloody. Him, him. Time is called by Richard Steele to send Hagler over to the ring doctor. He's calling the ring doctor in. The last thing in the world Hagler wants is the fight to be stopped. The doctor looks at it. Back comes Hagler with a wild left hand. It has to be impeding his vision oh, with the right eye. You never know it, though. Tremendous right. Hearns appears rubbery. He well, appeared that way in the second yeah. round. You know, Richard Steele is breaking these fighters very quickly. That's uncharacteristic of him. It's hurting Hagler because he wants to work inside. Hearns is smiling, but he's oh. taking shots. Oh. Another right hand. Oh, no, Tommy. Hearns, Get your hands up. Takes another right. Hearns in deep trouble again. Oh, no, Tommy. He's down in the third round. And on his oh. back, and he's not going to beat the count. I don't believe. Tommy Hearns tries to get up. Get up, Tommy. They've got to stop this fight. Does he get up? He his just does No, he can't continue. It's Hagler, full of blood. Blood, Damn. no doubt, impeding his vision, stopping him in the third round after Hearns almost ended it on a first round knockout. It didn't go very Ain't far, that a bitch. but it was a beauty. And Tommy Hearns predicted a knockout in the third. Instead, it is Marvin Hagler, and we certainly hope Tommy Hearns will be mm. all right. He is still wobbly. What a shot. Instead of Hearns initiating wild early action, it is this man who, believe me, has gained any redemption he needed from the loss to Roberto Duran. All right, there it is. I'm not going to say it's good stuff. Damn, Tommy. We're going to have to check out some more of these. But that was a hell of a fight. That first round was unbelievable. So there it is, Marvin Marvelous Hagler against Tommy the Hitman Hearns. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and watch Rocky Five. See ya.